So today we're at the Cambridge Union Society, one of the oldest debating chambers in the world. And today we've brought together people from the built environment to talk about the life sciences sector. We also spoke today about the, 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 you, the challenge that the life sciences sector face now about attracting the talent, about drawing in uh, the best brains. So it's more than just the lab space, it's actually about the uh, social space, the community space the ideas going off each other. There needs to be a point within the buildings that people will naturally come together. So great design can lead people through and past others. And increasingly people want to live and work in buildings that are sustainably delivered as well. It's not just about the working environment, it's about the facilities that are there and people having their work-life balance that enables them to be really efficient at work but also enjoy their life outside of work as well. You know, we're sociable beings, aren't we? So when others see that another city or another place in the world is doing really, really well and attracting good quality people, they may want to be a part of that. So yeah, there's, there's definitely on Cambridge and the designers that work in Cambridge to provide brilliant, brilliant facilities and um, again, ecosystems that support these uh, development of new businesses.